logically, I like it, it's weird to me because things are really good right now. You know, things are going well with videos. I feel like I've been able to have a lot of opportunities to connect with my family, to go on the last leg of the tour, you know, the cloak launch, everything's going well. And yet, like I can't help but feel like something's missing, you know. I got some bad news. It looks like our buddy Markiplier is suffering from the disease of more, and you might be too. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick, before I jump into Markiplier suffering from the disease of more, let's talk about what you're missing out over on Patreon. So about a week ago, I announced that everybody at the $5 tier and up, you get exclusive behind the scenes content, right? And check this out. Check out some of the behind the scenes footage that you're missing out on. Here's a little extra bonus content, hold on. Why well, I love sniffing everything. Cinematic kitty. Dun, 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 dun. Look how big this cat is. Wyatt will literally smell anything you put in front of him. Look, watch. Look, smell the toothbrush. Look, I'll just hold this. Look, anything you put in front of him. I, this is what I do. This is why I procrastinate. Why will just sniff anything you put in front of them? Yeah, but I've, I've been trying to post videos up there like at least like a few times a week. So yeah, if so, if you are in that tier five dollars and up, go ahead, check it out. I just put that video up. All right, but anyways, let's talk about Markiplier. So I love you guys. I just want to say that again. And like the, one of the beautiful things about this community, one of the many beautiful things about this community is that you guys recommend stuff to me. And I have like, I don't know, maybe a dozen of you recommend this new Markiplier video um, about him feeling down. So Tristan and I, we made some dinner and uh, we sat down and we watched this video and I'm like, man, Markiplier is bumming me out. Like I can't shake this feeling. Not this feeling that something's wrong, but this feeling that I don't know. Like I'm waiting for something more. This isn't new. This isn't new. Um, Tristan was a huge Markiplier fan. I she like she introduced me to a lot of YouTubers, and this is something like we we check on in on him every now and then, and he makes some videos like this, and it's like what's going on, and this actually brings up like a really important topic that I, I want to discuss with all of you. And there's kind of two things that we're going to talk about because I know a lot of you, especially, you know, the demographic that are kind of here, like, you know, we, a lot of people wonder like what we're doing with our lives and everything. Like if you saw Markiplier's video, which I'm going to link down below, a lot of it's him struggling to find meaning, struggling to find purpose. So, you know, we're going to be talking about the disease of more, but first I want to talk about kind of what we aspire to be, who we wanna be and what we wanna do. And the best way I can do that is kind of share my experience real quick. So I'm, you know, I'm getting into YouTube. Things are going great, they're going phenomenal. And what I do is I look at larger YouTubers. How are things going? Are they happy? What, what, what's going on, right? And I, it, it reminds me a lot of my early sobriety. Right? So like when I first got sober, like I didn't, I didn't know if I wanted to do this. I didn't know if I wanted to stay sober, right? I was depressed, everything sucked. Like why am I gonna stop using or drinking? Like everything sucks anyways. But when I would go and I would meet people who were sober for like years and they were talking about how miserable they were, I was sitting there and I'm like, wait, do I really wanna do this? Because I made a deal with myself. I said, there's no way I'm gonna be seven, eight, nine years sober and still be miserable. But I knew it's something that I wanted to do, but I started to realize that these were just one-offs. These were just certain people, right? So one of the things I try to do on my channel is I try to help you find the similarities rather than the differences. So something that I did was I would look at people. I would look at people who had more clean time than me that were further ahead of me. And if they were miserable, I would analyze them. I would say, why are they miserable? How have they achieved this thing that I want, but they're still sad? 
They're still depressed. What is that, right? But then I would look at other people who achieved that thing I wanted and they were really happy. So now I'm kind of looking at this with YouTube, right? Like, isn't the dream to become this gigantic YouTuber. Like Markiplier is one of the largest YouTubers on the platform, right? Like there are not many YouTubers on the platform bigger than him, okay? And think about that. If somebody like that is still struggling, like what's happening? So I gotta look at that. I gotta analyze that. But after Tristan and I watched this video, no, to be honest, it was about a minute and 50 seconds into this video, I paused it and I looked at her and we started having a conversation. And I was asking her, because Tristan right now is in school for uh, social work. She's becoming a social worker, right? And I asked her, I said like, would, would it throw you off? Would you not want to be a social worker if everybody you met who was a social worker for years was like miserable and depressed, right? And Tristan has actually worked in, you know, a, a psychiatric ward and she's met other social workers and she's met people who are depressed, but she, she does that thing that I'm talking to you guys about where she looks at it and she's like, wait, why are they depressed? Why don't they like this job? Because Tristan's getting into social work to help people. Same thing with me. The reason I got into YouTube, same reason I got into mental health treatment is because I want to help people, right? And the next, uh, you know, thing I kind of thought about was like teachers. You know, I know a lot of young people who, you know, like I have friends who went through school to become a teacher, right? And I think about teachers and like, you know what teachers I'm talking about. You know what teachers I'm talking about. Those teachers who have been there for years and they're just miserable. You know, they're the type of teacher where you know they go into the break room and they just talk about how awful and terrible this is. And you look at that and you're like, what happened, right? What happened? Because this is clearly something that we chose to do, right? Whether you're being a social worker, a school teacher, a YouTuber, right? Some of you might be in college right now. If you want, let me know down in the comments. What are you in school for right now? Have you met people in that field who are not happy? Have people achieved the thing that you want and they're not happy? Because then we gotta pause and look at it and say, okay, why is that, right? So something I noticed from Markiplier's video is this thing that we call the disease of more. I try to help people, raise money for charity, do what I can to better the world, and yet, I don't know, is it wrong of me to say like, it doesn't feel like enough? And this is part of the human condition, right? How much is enough? Nothing is ever enough, right? He's talking about these things that he wants and he's constantly doing and going and going and going. Like, I don't follow Markiplier that much, but he has a gigantic platform. He goes on tour, he does meet and greets, he uh, donates a ton of money to charity, right? And he gets in this head that he needs to be doing more. This is something that I struggle with. This is something a lot of you struggle with. When is it enough, right? And here's how I balance that, okay? Like, especially in my field of mental health and helping people, I have to, you know, check my expectations, right? If I have the expectation that I'm gonna help everybody and save everybody, my life, my head is gonna be a mess. But what if I focus on helping just one person? What if I can help just one person? Like, how many people can say, they helped change at least one person's life, right? So if I make that my goal, now I'm constantly achieving. Helping that one person is enough. Now it's not all about these numbers and how many people I help. So I see somebody like Markiplier donating money to charity. There's people where I guarantee, I guarantee Markiplier has helped people get through hard times with his, you know, his uh, comedy and his, you know, videos and going out on tour, all these things, right? But he wants more. He wants more, and that's when your headspace gets messed up. Think about that one person you're helping. I actually think there's a line about this in the new Spider-Man movie, Into the Spider-Verse coming out later this year. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag I'm super excited to see that movie though. Um, but yeah, it's not about trying to save everybody. Who can I help? Like look at what's right in front of us. You know, sometimes the only person I can help is my son. Sometimes that day when I want to help somebody, when I want meaning and purpose, that one person I'm helping is my son when he's having a rough day, right? So we need to start balancing this thing out and checking in with ourselves and saying, okay, like, why am I never fulfilled? What is this void that I'm trying to fill? Why am I constantly searching? I made a video a long time ago. Tristan actually did the 
artwork for it. I'm gonna link it up in the info card, okay? Check it out, please, check it out. It's called The Hungry Ghost. Go check that out, all right? The last thing I wanna touch on is I have to bring in my buddy, who is me, Tough Love Chris, all right? Here's the thing, some of you have been watching me for a while, and you've seen me say this about these gigantic YouTubers, like Markiplier, bruh, like, why haven't you mentioned therapy? Like, go to therapy, you're a millionaire. <laughs> okay, like, I get it, I get it, like, opening up on camera is very therapeutic, but it's not at the same time. Like, this is why I say we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. Because I'm the type of person where I would just sit there and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. But what am I doing? And like, I, I talked about this in my Lily Singh video. Like, there is absolutely no reason why somebody this big, making this much, should not be seeing a therapist. Like, in his video, he should have ended with, here's what I'm gonna do for the solution, right? But he ended it with, I'm fine. I'll close it up here. I'm fine, number one, first and foremost. I'm fine. Just because I say I'm a little down doesn't mean that I'm incredibly depressed. It just means that I'm searching for purpose. Don't do that. <laughs> when you, like, do some really depressive, depressing stuff and you tell people not to worry, like, uh, let them worry about you, okay? There's people who love and care about you, all right? I know we want to, you know, we want to not have people worry about us, but sometimes we need people to worry about us, okay? So, Markiplier, go get therapy. There are so many other people out there who cannot afford therapy. They do not have the resources for therapy. So now I am talking to you. If you are somebody with the resources, with the ability to get help, go get help, okay? I'm going to give you a few options right now. If you have insurance, go get therapy, okay? Call your insurance provider, check and see who they cover. If you don't have insurance and you are broke, go check out local resources. You can call the phone number 211 if you are in the United States. Find some uh, government assisted therapy, okay? Lastly, I am an affiliate of BetterHelp. BetterHelp's pretty awesome, even though all that stuff went down, Tristan uses BetterHelp and her therapist is the bomb, okay? So if you wanna do some affordable online therapy, check out the description below, use the BetterHelp affiliate link, helps the channel, helps you, but quit sitting around talking about the problem without getting in the solution, all right? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what I was asking earlier. Have you met people who have reached the point that you wanna get to and they're not happy, right? And let me know, why do you think that is? And what are you going to do to avoid that, all right? Let's have a conversation down in the comments below, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And remember, there's a brand new exclusive video up over on Patreon for everybody at the $5 tier and up. And if you would like to join and be a wonderful patron, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Quit suffering from the disease of more, and I'll see you next time.